multiplying numbers in standard form is really pretty straightforward you just need to deal with it as two separate numbers so first of all you look at the the number part and secondly you look at the index part so to do this calculation here you would do 3 multiplied by 2 separately that's going to be your first part of your answer and the second part of your answer is going to be 10 to the power of 4 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5 3 times 2 6 fairly straightforward now when you multiply index numbers you add the powers so 4 add 5 gives you 9 so the answer to this is 6 times 10 to the power of 9 so same method here we're going to do 6 times 5 there and we're going to do 10 to the 7 multiplied by 10 to the negative 3 here 6 5s are 30 and add the index numbers 7 add negative 3 or adding a negative number is the same as taking it away so that becomes 10 to the power of 4 now we can't leave the answer like that because a standard form number must have the first number less than 10 so we need to change that to a number less than 10 by making it smaller so we need to move the decimal point in one place to make it smaller so our first number is going to be 3 and because we've made this number smaller we need to compensate by increasing the power so the power goes up by 1 because our first number has become smaller now let's look how we would do this slightly more complicated one we've got 5.2 multiplied by 2 and then we've got the powers 10 to the negative 5 multiplied by 10 to the negative 4 so 5.2 times 2 is 10.4 minus 5 times the power of minus 4 well you've got to add them when you're multiplying so negative 5 add negative 4 again adding a negative is the same as taking away so negative 5 take away negative 4 gives you 10 to the negative 9 now this number can't stay like that again it's bigger than 10 so we need to make it smaller so we move the decimal point one place that way so we've got 1.04 times 10 and now we just need to figure out the power we've made this number smaller so we need to make this bigger and this is the bit that confuses people making a negative number bigger means you move it closer back to zero so that's going to become negative 8 